Hello guys and welcome! This is Play of the J and you're watching the Battle Arena scrims for tonight here. So uh, looking forward to getting into some scrim action again. Uh, did take a break from yesterday, wasn't able to uh, cast those uh, Battle Arena scrims. But this week gonna be looking at uh, casting uh, today's uh, and tomorrow's Battle Arena scrims. And uh, following that on Thursday we'll be doing the Scrim City uh, PUBG scrims as well. So that should be pretty exciting stuff guys so now we have uh, we've got 20 teams for you here so uh, just before we get started into this game just gonna rattle off the, the names here so you can uh, know who is playing so uh, just to introduce uh, team one is gonna be freaky board team team two will be BN power team three will be tactical stock team four will be team Joseph team five will be geek fan team six will be six gaming Team 7 will be Noob, Argus. Then Team 8 will be Rose Gaming. Team 9 will be Team Balats. Team 10 will be Minum Kopi. Team 11 will be MBT Nobi. Team 12 will be Koyak Gaming. Team 13, Quack Jr. Team 14, Resurgence. Team 15, For Fun. Team 16, Buda Buduya. Uh, team 17, Gift Esports Bravo. Team 18, Gift Esports. Team 19, Team Old Man. And finally, Team 20, gonna be Red Sea. Uh, so yeah, guys, that's gonna be it for the, the teams tonight. So uh, if you do uh, want to make sure that others get in on the action, do share out the, the Twitch page here and uh, make sure others can come and catch the action here as well. Really looking forward to it. So let's just get stuck in. Alright guys, so uh, first plane for the evening here is gonna be all the way from the military base all the way up to Severny here. Not quite straight, but uh, should do enough. Um, so yeah, I guess like uh, since it's gonna be scribs yet again, um, gives uh, all these teams here the platform to actually uh, get the amount of practice that they need to be able to perform in uh, competitions. There has been uh, a lot of tournaments going on lately. So uh, last weekend was a second qualifier for uh, the PUBG Malaysia so uh, Singapore Championship 2018 and then that uh, qualifier number three is coming up as well uh, Predator League is also happening uh, next weekend as well so that's going to be interesting to see and uh, all these teams going to be practicing hard for for that and uh, now we will be seeing a military island here going to be home to quite a few teams resurgence here and geek fam might be going toe to toe here and that could be very interesting uh, six gaming here also going for this section as well as for fun uh, over here is going to be Minum Kopi, uh, while you do have uh, Quack Jr. and Koyak Gaming and FFG all going uh, to this same place here. So let's uh, catch some of the action here before all dissipates here as we see Savior jumping all the way out here as he tries to dodge some of this uh, chaos that's uh, sprouting out here. And looks like Jank's able to get a couple knocks there but uh, oh no <laughs> looks like uh, his dreams getting his own teammate and Jank's gonna uh, feel the burn there and now Savior is gonna see what he can do um, now of course there are two of the players here from Resurgence who are down as well so that's gonna be something that we have to be a bit mindful of Savior and uh, and Jank's here currently by themselves um, KNY got is all the way in the northern barracks building here oh and looks like Modi is able to get down Rave Chow so um, looking uh, like advantage might be starting to swing in uh, Geek Fam's favor here as uh, currently Dreams and uh, KMF are the, the ones here. Oh, sorry, it is uh, not Resurgence that they're fighting against. This is a uh, tactical stock actually. Uh, Resurgence is in the other side of uh, military base. And uh, now Modi just going to try and prevent KMF1 from uh, trying to advance further. Savior going to throw down the nade here. And uh, oh, it actually hurt, does more damage to Modi here. But looks like uh, KMF1 going to go down here. Now KNY God is going to come up here and try and uh, see what he can do here. Now there is only going to be that one player left uh, for tactical stock at the moment here. And currently he's uh, in the lower buildings at the moment. And looking at how this game is going to develop, guys, we are at the moment do see that the circle is going to be all the way on the western side here
So yeah, guys, uh, looking at how things are developing here, we only have two teams that are actually inside the zone at the moment. There are quite a few teams clustered around all these uh, other sections here. We already see here that there is going to be Team Balats here uh, sharing uh, Rosok with Red Sea, and uh, looks like yes, Sanaya is a little bit crowded as well. Uh, so we got like three different locations here where we actually do have quite a number of teams. So in uh, Yasnaya is going to be Noob August, uh, squad number seven. Uh, there's going to be uh, Team Joseph, which is uh, squad number four, and uh, there's going to be MBT Nobby here, who is uh, squad number 11. So currently there's a little bit of space here. So don't think that there's anything really going to be spiking up uh, just at this moment in time. Uh, but now we will still see that there's still that one team member from uh, Tactical Stock alive here and looks as though that he's just staying put. He doesn't want to get caught out at all. In in the Milta region, we do have uh, team Old Man over here and uh, we have uh, two members from team Koyak here as well uh, and Quack Jr. as well. Uh, so looking in Severny, this is going to be Buduya, uh, and uh, all the way in uh, Zarki, this is uh, going to be the team members of uh, Team Balats. Oh, sorry. Then actually in Rozok over here, it is actually going to be GIF Esports. So GIF Esports going to try and share um, Rozok for how much space there is here, I guess, with Red Sea. Uh, but currently they're on the upper tiers here on the northern side, so they are going to have a little bit of a limited looting space here. and. Uh, Actually, Red Sea is uh, very much cornering them and preventing them from moving down. So Giphy Sports going to have to be uh, a little careful in terms of how they want to play this one out here. And uh, we'll have to revisit this one a bit later. I think there's just going to be a little bit of a standoff at the moment. But looks as though Resurgence here uh, facing uh, a little bit of pressure from Six Gaming here as they cross, Hello, guys, the, the, cross the bridge at the moment. Play of the J, and you're watching the Battle Arena Scrims for tonight. So, uh, so uh, it looks like um, Team uh, uh, 6 Gaming uh, here also a going to make a, a maneuver to, pretty uh, soon as well. Uh, Battle Arena scrims. But this week, going to be That's looking really at uh, casting uh, today's uh, and tomorrow's Battle Arena. And we're back. Okay, all right. Uh, so, oh, it looks as though that there's more rotations going on through here. Uh, Six Gaming this time on the receiving end a little bit, but oh, it looks like uh, MBT Nobby here in a little bit of trouble. Now, this is uh, for fun here. They were putting out a lot of shots, and now it looks as though that everything is really going at it here in Yasnaya, as uh, we see that in this building here that uh, MBT is going to try and do the best they can. Kafang Gaze here able to... Um, be the last person standing here and Railgun is going to try and head over there for Team Joseph but uh, he's not going to be able to have too much of an effect here. Now it's going to be effectively uh, a one-on-one -on -one in this situation but Railgun are going to try and come in and see what he can do here but uh, Kefan Gaze here going to be well aware of his presence at the moment and Asmix going to be in a little bit of trouble here. I don't think this is going to be anything that... Uh uh, he can do to save him. Uh, oh, oh, looks as though that uh, Catfan Gaze here gets caught off guard and looks like uh, that's going to be early game for MBT Nobby as they go out in 20th position here. So it uh, looks like uh, Team Joseph going to only have a uh, railgun here available to do anything. So um, that's uh, going to be a little bit of a early uh, fracas over there. But now we already see teams are going to be making their rotations in. We have teams all the way. I think there's BN Power all the way on the northeastern tip of the island here. Uh, but now we see that uh, Freaky Board team here trying to put up some shots onto the rotations coming out from uh, Give Esports Bravo. So uh, looks like not enough connections. They do manage to maintain enough distance, but looks like... Uh, Six Gaming gonna be going to work here after taking some fire from uh, for Team for Fun. Uh, they actually managed to take them out. So uh, we'll have to see whether or not it was an enjoyable or fun experience uh, for Six Gaming here. But they still have all four players left alive here. So let's see how they are going to do things here. So uh, yeah, and looking at how things are going, most of the teams are starting to plan out their rotations here. Um, but we already seen uh, actually the the team members from uh, if Esports actually withdraw from Rozok here, not willing to deal with the pressure there from uh, Red Sea as they were a little bit cordoned off on the the high ground there. It looks like Dream still here for tactical stock and uh, really not doing too much. And looks like. Uh, 
Aeon here. Gonna just be a little bit separated from the rest of Resurgence. He does play a little bit uh, all alone like this uh, at times here. Sometimes as the scout or flanker for Resurgence. But he is gonna start making his move after uh, hanging around the military base a little bit longer. But it looks like the rest of his teammates are already uh, gonna be camping the bridge here. Now Geekfam has to be careful here. They're gonna be in rotation and might not actually be able to, to catch out some of these other teams uh, at the moment. But we already see that uh, Freaky Board team here having withdrawn from that uh, southwestern region from school have already moved into the Gatka region. Now this region can be expected to be quite crowded here and uh, now the blue zone is coming in here and uh, I think we're gonna have to see BN Power actually having to start making their move uh, pretty soon here or at least they get trapped here. But it looks like GeekFam already having a little bit of an inkling here that there might be a potential bridge camp as they're actually gonna look for a, a boat here on this uh, western edge of military island and uh, we actually see also other teams here this is going to be quack jr here rotating all the way into the circle using a boat as well so um the road less traveled here uh, could be the way to go if uh they do want to make sure that they can have a safe rotation process but now it looks as though that decaf here under a lot of pressure but he should be able to get away for Uduya as uh, we see the team members from GIF Esports just trying to put up some long-range fire here, but not getting really any solid connections there, so that's going to put a damper on that one for the time being. Uh, but we actually do see Railgun here uh, getting into close proximity uh, with the intra, intra spam uh, for... Uh, his team, uh, Noob August here. So um, currently, they're the only ones still here together with uh, Team Joseph here. So Railgun probably just gonna um, bide his time here for the time being. There are two uh, Dacias there uh, available. <coughs> but it looks as though GeekFam is duking it out here with 6 Gaming as uh, looks like Modi going down here and uh, Asics gonna get that one here from the looks of it. But the rest of uh, GeekFam is coming in to help here as we do see KNY God and Savior trying to um, offer what level of support that they can at the, for the time being, but it looks like Jax is down, um, I think from the earlier fight here, uh, but l from the looks of it, the KNY God and Savior not going to let this one go, they're going to try and disable the vehicles here for uh, 6 gaming here, and probably not going to stay long in this engagement, but they don't have an easy way to get onto the boat without them taking a lot of fire from 6 gaming. Now they do have a little bit of time here, given the fact that they are on the edge of the circle here, but it's not an ideal position. Resurgence here, still going to be bridge camping here as well. So um, 6 gaming here, going to have to make a choice here, whether or not they actually uh, want to make that rotation or not here, as that could be uh, quite bad. And, oh, Deadmau actually getting uh, eliminated for Buduya here after he runs into the team members of Minokopi here. Um, but we'll have to revisit uh, that part a bit later here. Now we've already seen the, the boat transition coming in here from uh, Quack Jr. Now they are going to just move all the way to the uh, southwestern part of the main island at the moment. Uh, but currently uh, 6 Gaming and Geek Fam in a little bit of uh, no man's land at the moment. Um, they just have to make a decision here. At least they get caught on the bridge camp as we see. It is actually going to start bearing fruit here. Is Andy BG taking some hits already here. As for he's uh, forced to duke it out with the all three team three members of uh, resurgence that are currently on the side of the the bridge so brax is going to get that knocked down and probably the elimination that uh the rest of six gaming here probably going to be uh, a little bit aware of the threat from uh, resurgence now so now it's for up to them to actually find alternative means of rotating here now aeon has actually managed to run all the way over here and he might actually be trying to get in a good position here uh to catch a uh, Six gaming here off guard though uh, looks as though they are making the decision to keep moving here They do want to try and secure a vehicle But Aeon probably will uh, give a little bit of a spray here if he can here as uh, they're having a little bit of a uh, car troubles here And looks like a6 and cold blood under a lot of pressure a6 going down here cold blood on 50% health He's deciding to bug out here and just get out of there with his life So uh, looks like six gaming here down to one player left here and uh, now we see the second circle actually reveal itself and Dreams is still not moving here. Oh, okay, he is moving. So it uh, looks like Tactical Stock is still in it, but I hope he's managed to loot enough meds here, but it might be uh, picked a little bit clean by uh, just so many people who are actually in the military base there in the early game. But now we see here the rotations are coming in uh, from Freaky Board Team, squad number one, and um, three different cars here for our team, Buduya. So uh, let's see whether or not they actually do want to try and take down um, Freaky Board Team. They only have that one vehicle and uh, one... Uh one vehicle explosion could actually really ruin the whole game, but looks like, uh, speaking of ruined games here, as uh, looks like Koyak Gaming here uh, 
get eliminated here after they go past uh, the Red Sea players here. And currently all all of them were able to fire on the vehicle as well. So that's going to put a dampener onto Koyak Gaming. And uh, now we will be looking to see how things are going to further develop here. As uh, now we see that uh, it looks like Freaky Board Team here has taken up shop here in this rather large compound. And uh, we are see that Elliot here uh, ahead for Team Old Man at the moment. And... Uh, Looks like he's going to be in a little bit of trouble. He is going to be a bit surrounded here. And uh, I am NYX here. Going to put up some shots onto Elliot here. And uh, he's going to, he's going to try and weave a little bit here. But looks like he's taken a bit too much damage. I, I think maybe even his tire had gone a little bit. And unfortunately, that's going to be it for uh, Elliot here in this game. So uh, going to be uh, one man down, one old man down. And uh, three young boys up, potentially. But looks like passion and... And uh, the rest here are going to be uh, under a little bit of pressure here. And uh, looks like um, that's going to be it as uh, they get caught out by Red Sea here in rotation. So a little bit unfortunate and uh, early game for them. Uh, now we do see that all the other teams have uh, managed to move their way over here. It's just going to be uh, tactical stock. That's still very much on the military islands. Cold Blood doesn't have much choice here given the position that uh, Resurgence has here. They're just going to stifle the any potential movements here but it looks as though that savior and KNY god did manage to make it across over to ferry appear here so they should be okay but albeit they have been reduced down um to two of their players uh, already here but now it looks as though that there is a lot of shots going out onto the rotation coming from uh team balat um taking some hits here nothing too bad um so it looks like gift esports bravo not gonna get any uh free uh, loot here but oh it looks like Afam has had to abandon his vehicle and actually he injures himself once the vehicle actually um, flipped on itself here so a little bit unfortunate for uh, Team Balats in, in this scenario but uh, now it looks as though that the other two team members from Team Balats are coming to help here and try and prevent any uh, further tragedy from taking place but Samud Man and the rest of uh, GIF Esports Bravo here are just going to try and lay down the hurt and the, as they try and disable the vehicle for Moriarty. So uh, that's going to make it a little bit of a stranded situation for them unless their two team members can come help them. But I think currently they're uh, occupying the other regions. But oh, it looks as though Luvia is able to catch Cold Blood at long range here. And uh, that's going to be it for 6 Gaming. They go out in 16th place here. And uh, now we will be seeing that uh, phase number 2 will be moving in here. And it looks like Red Sea trying to do their what they can to get Railgun, but Railgun manages to defy the odds there and actually get out alive as the last team member from uh, Team Joseph here. So now Red Sea will be on the move here. They're playing a little bit on the edge of the circle at the moment, trying to catch these teams in rotation at the moment. And given the position of the plane, we could have could have expected to see a lot of teams come from the eastern side but now i think that's going to be it and a lot of the teams are making their move here but railgun might run into the team members of freaky board team here and uh he could be in for some trouble and it looks like that's going to be it for him as uh i'm nix here going to be able to catch him out no problem and now red sea is on the move haha <laughs> gus uh, has taken up shop here uh first for the team on top of the hill uh but he's just gonna wait for pokoyo and the rest to catch up to him so they're going between this compound and Ferry Pier, so avoid any potential casualties. And uh, there's actually quite a number of compounds that are that can potentially be occupied here. Now it looks like Savior and uh, KNY God are going to try and see what shots they can uh, put up here. And oh, it looks like Crown TV actually knocking over uh, one of his uh, Noob August teammates here. So a little bit unfortunate in those uh, circumstances. And now... All that uh, Geek Fam can do at the moment is just look at these teams actually making their rotations. And now it looks as though that Resurgence decides to make their move just as uh, Dreams here comes over for uh, tactical stock here. So that's going to be uh, a little bit of a strange timing, but they did manage to get a couple kills, or well, three kills actually, onto the six gaming guys. So um, it wasn't without uh, reward. Now, looks like uh, Resurgence has parked themselves on the hill here. Uh, Freaky Board Team. Just going to try and get whatever vision they can. They can't really see too far up the hill here. So they could be potentially push here. But now looking at how things are going here. Looks like Mr. Pa and the rest of uh, GIF Esports under a lot of pressure. Tanaga, Nash, Tanaga National Burhad under a lot of fire. And looks like Mr. Pa here. Going to try and throw a nade here. But Darka is able to catch him out. And looks like uh, Tanaga Nacional is the last guy for his team here and uh, he's gonna have to try and see what's the the best move here but a nade falls right in his face but he does have enough space there to actually try and get out but that car is gonna blow up there so a uh, good move from Tanaga there to actually blow that up but 
Uh, looks as though a nades from Darka still was able to finish him off, and Darka's looking to finish this here as he catches out to Naga, and uh, that's gonna be it there, and he's picks up uh, two more kills here for a total of three so far in this game. So now we will be seeing almost all the teams here inside the circle. There's only gonna be a little bit of resurgence and tactical stock here, which is currently still outside. GeekFam just happy to stay around the Fairy Pier section at the moment as uh, Quarry actually looks a little bit crowded as we do see here Quack Jr. here is currently occupying these uh, middle tiers. They knocked down I Cry Sim already here from uh, Team Rose Gaming and Rose Gaming still has uh, three other players up here to support as the right now this angle is a little bit narrow for Quack Jr. So uh, I don't know, Biman here can actually get some good shots here from the high ground but Dick Gina should be coming up here to try and see what it can do to, to offer some further fire here but looks like Croft Barzam here gonna be able to nail the headshot onto Biman and uh, looks like uh, Dick Gina should be able to get off the res here but I Cry Sim here it's going to be a little bit unlikely. There is a smoke there to try and help out the situation, but it's still going to be difficult for them to push down, given how far back that Quack Jr. is here. So any advancement coming down from the low ground is going to be very difficult for them to advance. But the angles are good here for the, the team members of Rose Gaming. As uh, we see that Lapar, um, Mal Kendricks here is a little bit uh, separated, so he will be able to get some nice angles. But looks like all these quarry teams are going to have to bug out a little bit as this uh, circle has shifted. Uh, a little bit central here so it's going to favor Red Sea they have a very central compound here but there is a lot of space for other teams to move in here so if uh, the rest of uh, Minion Kopi over here feel they want to move down they can and it should actually work out in their favor so uh, it is going to be so yeah it is going to be a little bit uh, of an interesting situation here to see what actually uh, takes place, but now we will be seeing actually there is going to be rotation coming in here from BN Power and they might actually be running straight into uh, Rose Gaming for the time being as uh, we already see that fire is being put onto Quack Jr. Quack Jr. in a terrible spot at the moment here even though they do have the high ground, but it's not going to be able to help them with Biman and Dick Gina here. are going to be able to offer that covering fire, but Bumpy J here is going to move in very carefully here for BN Power, and let's see whether or not he's going to be able to get the, the drop onto these guys as uh, Dick Gina is going to be moving here, and uh, looks like Biman here also still without his helmet. One shot is going to do it, and Bumpy J is going to have to be a little careful here. Dick Gina not able to connect enough there, so Biman is going to knock down... Uh, Kumbayo Kuning here and it looks like DG is going to go down permanently as now Bumpy J is going to try and flank around Biman here just going to try and move around but it looks like uh, Malkendrix here can get some shots onto Bumpy J and he's going to have to bug out a little bit here uh, before things get a little bit too heated but now it looks like K-Bytes over here with the rest of Minon Kopi and they're going to try and see what shots they can put up onto BN Power. So BN Power just running for a little bit here as they decided to bug out of this fight. Looking at how everything is developing here, things are getting increasingly congested here, especially on this western side as now Bumpy J has been eliminated by Dark as he ran into Minion Copy as um, pretty much the third team that uh, the rest of his team, BN Power, has had to deal with here. Looks like Savior are going to put the finishing touches onto Tactical Stock. So finishing off that rivalry at the start of the game. So now everyone is making that move on this western side here. But now Resurgence just moving in from that uh, southeastern part of the southeastern part of the circle at the moment. They're putting pressure on to give esports Bravo for the time being. And now we will be looking to see how things are gonna play out here. Samut Man and uh, Fuck You Baby have taken a little bit of damage here, and looks like Fuck You Baby just gonna actually go down potentially. And oh, it looks like uh, that. Um, Trifecta battle here uh, actually did play a toll here on Rose Gaming here as they do expire. But now Snazu going down here from Quack Jr. So Quack Jr. from being a terrible spot earlier on have managed to overcome after they moved uh, in together with the circle to a certain extent. And they do still have four players up alive. Now Rose Gaming here is going to be uh, out in this uh, first round that we have in store for you this evening, guys. And uh, now we see that other rotations are coming in here. We already see that Minon Kopi is also moving in here as well. Red Sea still occupying that compound. They do have a very good central position. In the northern side is going to be Buduya, as the, they still manage to have uh, a good spot there themselves. But Resurgence just trying to control the, this a lot of this open ground. Uh, there's not a lot of coverage here uh, for all these teams at the moment. And, and they're just going to try and continue to put long-range fire I, I am NRX here. We're just going to be uh, 
Res here by his teammate, Freaky Board Team. Freaky Board Team has a little bit of a separation here, taking up different cuts at the moment. But now it looks like uh, the team members of Team Balats here forced to run out into the open here and uh, going to be a, a little bit unfortunate for them as uh, there is really not a lot of cover here. There's going to be mostly cover here and on this uh, southeastern side here that we see Resurgence and the team members of Give Esports Bravo occupying Geek Fam here, just bugging out a little bit and not engaging too much into the battle. And uh, now we will be see, uh, seeing K Bytes here at the moment, uh, just trying to put up some shots from Minion Poppy here onto Quack Jr. Looks like Skip going to be able to return a little bit of fire here. K Bytes not taking too much damage here, but wow, three shots in a row on his uh, pan there. So he's been uh, very lucky in those situations. And now it looks like uh, the, the rest of uh, Quack Jr. here under a lot of pressure this time from uh, Noob Agus here as they are pushing down their northern side. But now it looks like uh, Minon Copy going to get in on something action here. And right now there's only Croft here who's going to be able to do anything. Legendary X7 here taking a little bit too much damage. And uh, now we see Crown TV actually just trying to put up a little bit more fire for uh, Noob Agus here as he starts to rotate into the circle as it is going to be on the move very shortly here. Now he's going to try and get a good angle. He sees the smokes already uh, for Rosok D here and the rest. So now that could actually play a part here, but he is the last member uh, alive here at the moment. And uh, this position going to be held by Minon Kopi here right until the end. And uh, Geek Fam all the way here in the south going to have to take the two vehicles that they have and actually make a, a little bit of a push more into the tree line here as they try and get inside the zone. But they're going to like be a periphery type of figure here for the time being. And now we already see here that this is going to be a resurgence that ha might have to deal with the oncoming pressure arriving here in the form of uh, GIF Esports uh, Bravo, currently Semut Man and Fuck You Baby here, just biding their time and waiting for a good time to actually catch uh, resurgence a little bit unawares here. And that could actually spell a, a, a premature end to uh, this particular round here. And uh, Brax very close to Samut Man here, but not able to spot him just yet. And uh, now it looks like the other teams here just trying to get in inside the zone. Crown not able to do it for Noob Agus here, and uh, he goes out with the rest of his team. So Ninja's here, the last player up here for uh, Quack Jr. here, under more pressure coming in from Rosex D and the rest of Minon Kopi. And uh, looks like he's gonna go down as uh, Rosex D gonna pick up another frag there. So Darka's leading their way with seven kills for Minon Kopi here uh, with a total of nine for their team so looking pretty good from them as they are able to control that space on the western side pretty well now we see Afam and the rest of team Balats after being barraged from all the way across the map it would seem from uh, resurgence they have managed to get all the way towards this no northern part of the circle and now they're moving on to this position that is occupied by um, Minon Kopi as well as Buduya. So Buduya taking one down here and casual elitist here is going to try and uh, advance a little bit here as he uh, writes off his teammate effectively. Rozok D going down here and now K-Bytes going for the flank here but it looks like uh, casual elitist is going to be uh, ready for him. Um, but looks like Darkhouse will be able to finish it here but the question is whether or not they can actually get inside the zone quickly enough and uh, should be okay but they're facing the incoming pressure coming up from uh, Team Balats here and it looks like Rosox D goes, uh, goes down in rather permanent fashion here and it looks like this uh, this circle is really going to favor Red Sea here. They have gone for a four-way split at the moment here so they do need to make sure they don't peek excessively here otherwise they're actually going to expose themselves a little bit and that might actually make it a little bit more difficult when it comes to the later stages of the game. But NJRX going to try and just pin down the members Minon Kopi at the moment. k is just trying to heal up a little bit after being rezzed by Darka. Darka is going to move ahead and uh, scout it out a little bit. But now it looks like Resurgence here aware of the presence of Geek Fam here. Going to make life increasingly difficult for him them as uh, KNY God has gone down here. Leaving Savior all by himself to try and red get the res off. But the smoke grenade has been uh, deployed here. So it should be okay for the time being. But they are going to try and blow up the vehicle here. And uh, if they're a little bit too close, that's going to be a, a bit of a sad ending right there for Geek Fam here. But it looks like Savior going to try and grab the other vehicle here. And uh, they're going to try and make their own uh, way over. But it looks like Hahagus and Pokoyo going to town onto Minokopi. And they finish them off here. But now Geek Fam going to have to try and make a mad dash for it. As uh, they've taken a lot of damage here. Brax putting up a lot of fire onto them. But not able to connect with anything. But it looks like Papa Zayat here going to put up some shots himself onto Geek Fam here. And that car is taking a lot of hurt here. But how did Geek Fam manage to get over here? 
Uh, the problem is that Blue Zone is going to be moving in uh, very soon here, and that's going to make things increasingly difficult. And now it looks like Freaky Board Team having consolidated their position here, trying to put up some of those long range shots onto uh, Team Balats at the moment. But now it looks like it's still going to be uh, okay for the time being, but it is going to be very narrow for them, and they, they are getting pummeled by the team members of uh, Team Balats at the moment. So the Team Balats going to blitz the hell out of these guys. Kexis goes down, and uh, now it looks like there is going to be um, all of them up at the moment as they manage to get that player up there. But now it looks like uh, Resurgence under trouble here, as they're facing a lot of pressure from Red Sea and... Uh, it looks as though that the uh, last team member here for uh, Gip Esports Bravo here just going to try and do what he can, but it looks like Salka is going to be finished off here. He has nowhere to go here, but now it looks like Pokoyo and uh, Red Seer going to be putting pressure back onto uh, Geekfam for the time being here as we see KNY God and Savior just living life on the edge here after being in the smoke for ages and Savior taking a lot of damage here, but uh, he's actually in the blue zone as well. He's going to try and maneuver away onto the other side for the time being but he's gonna get caught out by the zone at the moment KNY God is gonna try and do what he, he can here he's tossing a nade towards Red Sea but don't think that is gonna be too effective oh it's a uh, another smoke in fact but KNY God gonna expire there and looks like Red Sea dominates this side of the circle but now we will be seeing that the rest of Gift Esports uh oh no sorry Team Balats here putting a ton of pressure onto uh, Freaky Board Team as they cannot really move out. If they come out they, and move around the backside, they can easily get shot at by Brax, but Brax has his own problems. He's got Red Sea to worry about at the moment, and we already got NRL and Papa Zayet already moving towards that position to just try and see what they can do, but it looks like uh, Red Sea going to have some good long-range vision here as they do have the circle here, and that's going to make it increasingly difficult for all these teams here to push into this circle. But now we will see NRL here actually manages to spot Bought out Brax here and he's gonna finish him off now it looks like there's only gonna be three teams remaining here and now we already see the crawling coming in at long range from freaky board team and uh yeah the paddle boarding here is not gonna help them unfortunately as uh it looks like uh, I am Nyx here going down John C nobody here also being picked off at range at the moment as uh it is a little bit of a shooting gallery at the moment they are at a bad spot they have been forced to move back to that uh, little spot that they do have a little available to them that they thought they could actually just move out after facing the pressure from Team Balats here. But now it looks like uh, Team Balats is going to try and finish them off before they uh, continue moving on towards uh, Red Sea here. But the circle is almost upon them. It is going to be increasingly difficult for these two teams to actually get out here alive as they are being... Uh, coaxed into moving into the open field at the time being and uh, I don't see any smokes being deployed here and it looks like Freaky Board Team gonna be expiring outside the blue zone here and uh, that's gonna be it here now it's just gonna be Red Sea versus uh, Team Balas but looks like Red Sea has got such a good spread they have all the hard cover available to them and they have the circle so it's only gonna be a matter of time before NJRX and uh, Moriarty are gonna be uh, in a little bit of uh, trouble but NJRX gonna be able to get close enough to actually go through the the grass for the time being here Moriarty just trying to use that smoke wall is still around here to try and see what he can do but looks like the red of rest of Red Sea here spreading out the field here at uh, actually advancing onto the position, trying to get into nade range here and make it increasingly dire to actually crawl in the grass here closer towards them. But uh, of course, this is going to have to be what Team Balats has to try and do here. There is not even a rock here. So looking increasingly dire. Moriarty and NJRX uh, also not able to crawl faster than the circle, but luckily for them, it just finishes in time. But looks like the last circle is going to be in favor of Red Sea, guys. And uh, looks like very much like, uh, yeah, they're just trying to use whatever little ridge that they have here. I don't even think you can call that a ridge. It's more like an anthill. But yeah, looks like uh, the rest of Red Sea just going to try and play it a little bit carefully here. They don't want to get... Uh, a little bit too cocky here despite the advantage that they have here and it looks like they have 14 kills in this game and uh, really getting in a, a quite a good haul here after they're controlling the space and catching in the earlier game a lot of teams in rotation as well it looks like Moriarty gets caught out here it looks like NJR is going to try and return fire but 
nothing much that he can do in that situation and nrl will get the last frag for red sea so red sea take it in round number one of tonight's battle arena scrims guys and they do it with 16 kills as well so nrl and papa zayat here leading the way with five kills apiece and uh and also a contribution from hahagos and pokoyo also giving three kills as well so very good round from them here and uh really able to control the space there after able being able to secure that compound much earlier on and in second place we do have team balance here who was able to really try and stave off the pressure as long as possible and really try and make it work as best they could but there were a little bit too many uh, in the way of factors that were going against them there but they still did manage to get second place and they did actually put a lot of pressure onto freaky board team as well who were actually forced to actually be um uh, just stay in that hut they actually wanted to get out of there but they were being lit up by Red Sea just too much there and uh, they had no choice uh, and they kind of expired in the blue zone there. And then Resurgence came in fourth there um, after they were dominating the southeastern side of the circle. They did start getting picked off by um, a few players here, a few players there and uh, it didn't really work out for them. They also didn't have a lot of cover later on as the circles were progressing and Brax was the last one alive. And then Geek Fam, they actually managed to stay alive till the very end. They did lose... Uh, uh, Jenks earlier on as well as uh, Mahdi as well on the military island but Xavier and KMY go were trying to make it work as best they could and they actually managed to get to the compound next to Red Sea but unfortunately they expired as well after they were forced to push into the compound as well so that is going to be it for round number one of tonight guys so we are playing uh, alternate maps here so next one will be Miramar and then we will return to Erangel and the final map will be on Miramar again so uh, yeah you're watching play of the J guys uh, so when we come back we'll bring you round number two for the battle arena scripts so don't go away <laughs> 